what we've done for the investigation to find the individual in question. On Friday the 26th of February, we identified three cases in England of P1, the variant first described in Manaus, Brazil. As we know now, one of the individuals had attempted to register his test online, but had failed to do so effectively. Specialist teams from NHS Test and Trace and Public Health England immediately launched an investigation to identify the individual concerned. An instant team of 40 people from across the system, made up of laboratories, logistics, data analytics experts, was mobilised to trace the individual. The team began with very little information. As of Sunday morning, they had a single barcode and a date and time the test was processed at the Cambridge Lighthouse Laboratory. Using the barcode data, they established that it was delivered through the DHL service for home deliveries. The test and trace deliver many thousands of kits across the week to the UK. And now they were looking at sequentially when this test was delivered and where this was delivered to, comparing it to other tests that were in the system. They worked backwards from when it arrived in the laboratory to where they had come, which um, testing hub it had come from, um, and backwards through the postal service. The intelligence was then overlaid with the geographical spread to look for the correlation of sequential barcodes and the regions it had been distributed to. This narrowed it down to two regions and 10,000 possible households. Once the team had combined the region and the time window, experts tracked down every single distribution center and then filtered it down further, down to 379 households. At this point, enhanced contact tracing kicked in with call handlers calling, emailing, and phoning all of the individuals that could have received a test in that time interval. These calls narrowed it down to 27 individuals who received further calls, further texts, further messages. And on Wednesday at 3 p.m., an individual phoned the 119 service. They were able to give the missing barcode number that they had held securely for the whole time. This individual has been interviewed extensively and lives within a household that had recently returned from Brazil and all had quarantined at home. Further precautionary testing will occur in the neighborhood and we've already started testing all of the samples from the neighborhood through whole genome sequencing to ensure that there's no further distribution of cases in the community. This is a testament to the NHS test and trace teams, the call handlers, and the Public Health England Health Protection Team working together to find an individual and prevent further transmission.